Go, come on, go with me. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes, come on. I can't depend on God. 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 Through the storm, through the rain, through sickness, through pain, I can't depend. I can't depend. I can't depend on God. Come on, come on, praise him. I can't depend on God. I can depend on God. I can't depend on God. I can't depend on God. Through the storm, come on. Through the rain. Through sickness. Through pain, yeah. I can't depend. I can't depend. I can't depend on God. Yes. Yes, Lord. I can depend on God. Come on. God. God. My way. Me. Each and every day. Yes. Couldn't get well. Heal my body. Now I can tell. I, you can depend on him. You can depend on him. I can't depend on God. Yes, thank everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give my hand clap for praise. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. I want to say Merry Christmas to everyone. Amen. I want to say Merry Christmas to everyone. Amen. We can depend on God. We can depend on God on this morning. Amen. Amen. Welcome to Chain Breakers Ministry, where our mission and goal is evangelize the lost, revive the saved, set and kept them free, all by exalting the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Come on, let's give my hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. For this season, the season that we in, amen. It's the Christmas season, amen. Uh, under us, what it said, under us, a Savior's born. In the city of David, Christ Jesus our Lord, amen. You know the saying, the cliche, he is the reason for the season, amen. And we don't want to forget that, amen. He is the reason for the season. Once again, thank you for change. Thank you uh, for joining us, up, us here at Chain Breakers Ministry. I want to thank God for our first lady being here on this morning, amen. In our presence on this morning, each and every one of you. My lovely wife, Sister Kimberly Scott, who's off visiting her family in California on this morning, having a good time like most of us are doing there this morning, having a good time with our family. Ain't nothing like being being with family during the holiday season, amen. So we, we, we do thank God that he's given us one more chance, one more time to celebrate him on this year, to celebrate that we're, we don't, we, like I said, we don't know when he was born, but we set this day aside, amen. We have set this day aside to celebrate him, to give him glory, honor, and praise, amen, for all the mighty works that he has done for us on this day, amen. So I want you guys to go stand with me as we go before uh, the Lord for a word of prayer, amen. Truly we do thank him, like I said, for allowing us another day, for giving us a, really another opportunity, another year, we can magnify and glorify his name. Father God, once again, I do thank you and I do praise you. Once again, I give your name glory, honor, and the praise, Lord God. For we understand, even though it's the Christmas season, we understand that you said this is the day you have made and we shall rejoice and we shall be glad in it on this morning, Lord God. So we thank you, Lord. I thank you for another chance. I thank you for another opportunity, Lord God, to stand in your footsteps on this morning. 
And God is always Lord God. I'm, I'm praying that you would help me somehow, somewhere to hide myself behind the cross right now, Lord. So God, these people can hear only you on this morning, Lord. Give me an ear to hear, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Give me a heart to receive. Give me an ear to hear and a heart to receive, Lord God, from you on this morning, Lord God. What your word is saying to your people, Lord God. And once again, Lord God, let the words out of my mouth in the meditation of my heart. God, let it be acceptable in your sight. Lord, you are my strength and you are my redeemer. And everyone that loved the Lord and believed him said amen. Amen and amen, amen, amen. If you can re- want to remain standing for just a brief moment, I got a, just a brief word of God. Amen. We stand and read because my son, go with me. If you guys can go in your Bible, like I said, I won't be before you long. I say, uh, I know it's a season when everybody, you know, is getting together with their family. What's, well, you know, what a lovely thing to do during this time of year. Get, get together with your family. It's Luke 2. And six, amen. We come with you from Luke 2 and 6. And so it was that while they were there, uh-huh. the days were accomplished yes. that she should be delivered. Uh-huh. Okay. Go down to seven. Amen. amen. Go to seven. And she brought for, for her first son firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and lied him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Uh-huh. And I'm going to use briefly from those passage of scriptures, will you make room? Amen. Uh-huh. Look at your neighbor and say, it, and say it to him, will you make room? Will you make room? <laughs> Amen. Doing the hustle and bustle of the busy holiday. You may have your seat in the presence of the Lord, and, you know, doing the, the time of hustle and bustle. But, you know, I, I, want, I, mean, I don't know. When I get up here, I want to be just very truthful to people and what God did for me on this week right here. Amen. As I was meditating on his word and, you know, he had given me a word early in the week, this word early in the week. And uh, to speak, will you make room? And, you know, uh, Elder, Wil- Elder Wilcox was in the Sunday school, he was talking about uh, your confirmation, right? So, you know, I didn't know exactly what the scripture was, and I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday morning, and I said, well, you know, like most good Christians, they, they got a daily devotion right there that, that they read, right? They got, you got a daily devotion, you see, they read. So I was like, yeah, okay, I don't know, but I'll wait until after I read my daily devotion, then I'll go and find out exactly what the scripture Lo and behold, guess what my daily scripture was? Lo and behold. My daily scripture was what? And she brought forth a son. That's what my daily scripture was. Right where the scripture is on the board. So it gave me confirmation. He wanted me to speak on will you make room? Talk about confirmation, that little cop. He said, this is, this is what I want you to say. This is what you want to ask my people this morning. Will you make room? Now, if we read up in the story, it's very familiar. Amen. Uh, very familiar passage. And if we read up and we know the story, we know during that time, uh, the, the governor at a, of that region had, 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 had sent forth a decree, right? Uh, 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 that, that, uh, for a census to be done. Amen. Uh, for a census to be done, right? The governor. So Mary and Joseph, they were from Nazareth, right? They have, they had to make that trip and every, everybody from the different areas had to go to their own capital, amen, in order for what we call census to be counted. They had to bring the whole family, right? So Mary and Joseph, they were from Nazareth. And so they, their capital was Bethlehem, amen. And if you read in your Bible and you do any kind of study, you know it's like about a four day trip, about 90 miles, about four days, or you know, with their horse and buggy packing up everything and go, all the families, you know, had to do that, you know, to go. They get counted in, in, in the census, yes. right? So when I look at the passage on the day, what, what it took for them to get ready and 
What you think about when you go on, on a vacation? Well, you know, especially if you got kids. You know, I, I was fortunate on this week. Uh, 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 my daughter, my son-in-law, they were packing up and they were going. And I, and I, I thought, I, I mean, I seen what they had to go because they got little, two little kids. One, I think one about five, one about six months. And I seen what they had to go through to pack them kids up and get them kids ready to go, you know, to go with them on this trip. And I was like, man, thank God I'm out, I'm out of this season. You, it, it took, so you were married your knees, families. Packing up all this stuff. You know, some of them had, probably had a lot of kids. Getting all them kids ready. They'll go to Bethlehem to be counted. Amen. Yeah. So, so, I was looking. The Holy Spirit took me. He said, when they got to the end, right? So, we thinking, uh, when they got to the end, and why was it full? Maybe why was the end full? Why was it packed? Why? Well, it could have been because of the census. And everybody was, you know, everybody was migrating into Bethlehem to be counted. So by the time Mary and Joseph got there, there was no room. It's already full there. Amen. By the time they got there, probably was overcrowded. So God, God wanted me to say to you this morning, doing this hustle and bustle of this time and of this season, will you make room? Doing your celebration, doing all your celebration, will you make room for him on the day? Are you going to figure? Oh, because the Bible says, right, in, 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 in uh, uh, Revelation 3 and 20, he said, Behold, I stand at the door of your inn, and I'm knocking. To see if, and if, he said, If any man let me in, I'll come and I will sup with him. Amen. But I, like I said, doing the hustle and bustle and doing the cares of the world and everything that's going on in the world today with your life, you might on this morning thinking you are not able. But God is asking, Will you make room? You know, what I, like I said, with the cares of the world and everything that's going on in the world, some of you right now, in the position that you're in, and if you are you hearing this message, maybe you have, you know, lost that fire and lost that lose, lost that fervent, you know, to, to put God first, to, to, to give him, to, to give him room into your life, amen. So God sent me here today to say, will you make room? Will you rededicate yourself? Will you rededicate yourself or will you dedicate yourself on this day? Let it be a beginning today. While the spirit of joy, the spirit of happiness, the spirit of gladness is prevalent in the land right now. This is your time. I mean, people's hearts are, your hearts are open. Will you make room today? But just not only today. Every day will you make room for him? Well, every day will you make, like I said, make this day a beginning that you start making room for him. Let it be the day that you make room for him on this day. Amen. Don't keep, don't let him keep knocking on the, on the door of your end. Amen. And you continue to, to say there's no room for you right now. I've got this going on and I've got that going on. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? In life, you're going to always, it's always going to be crowded with something. It's always going to be crowded with something. <laughs> so you have to make a, 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 a concerted choice every day. Like today, you can make a, a concerted choice. To, to, to make room in your heart from the day before you get into your party, before you get into your gathering with your family. You can make a concerted effort today to make room for him. Uh -huh. you, you, might, you might say, preacher, how, how do I make room for him? Well, God, give me this. Well, the first thing, you might start with prayer, right? Amen. That mean my prayer. The first thing you want to do in the morning, you want to get up and pray. You want to get up and thank him hey, for giving you a, a, another chance. Come on, let his word what be a lamp unto your feet. Let, you, let his word be a light unto your path. So that's how you start. You start with prayer. You start with what? Getting into your word. That's how you're making room for him. You start by getting into your word. Then I, I, a great woman of God, her saying is you get, in the, you get into his word and let his word get in you. You have that fervor. Get, 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 let him give you that fervor and fire that you had when you first begun. Some of us might have fell back, but he's always standing at the door of your heart. He's always standing there locking. He's always making room. And back in the old days, what the old people say, though millions, though millions may come, there's still room for one. He's always, he's always making room for you. 
So will you make room? That's the, that's the question this morning. Will you make room? Yes, celebrate, you know, be with your family. Have a good time with your family. But why are you with your family, amen? Don't forget to make room for him. Somebody said, don't forget the baby. Don't, for, don't forget the baby. Don't forget the reason for the season. Hey, man, we, now we, we come to church, we go into church. Well, it's Christmas Day, it's, it's, uh, and you're not going to go to church because it's, it's oh, 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 are we celebrating him? <laughs> are we truly celebrating him? Hey, Amen. He is the reason for the season, and it's all about him. Hey, Amen. It's all about him on the day. Hey, Amen. So make room for him on this morning. Hey, Amen. A very simple message on this morning. You make room for him. Hey, Amen. Every, each and every day. I shared, I shared with the Sunday school class on this morning and but said, saying that my God is a real God. Amen. You, we think it has to be a big thing where we're going to flip and do all this stuff. But you can ask the Lord to come in your heart right where you are today. He said, for today, you hear my voice hard and not your heart. Amen. I did a simple prayer. I told people I was over in, 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 in Kuwait doing the desert storm wall. During the devil's storm wall. And I was able to, able, when I was over there, just say a simple prayer. Lord, forgive me of my sin. God created me a clean heart, Lord God. I repented of my sin. Amen. And uh, hey, I didn't feel anything. I didn't anything happen. Reckless. <laughs> Nothing happened like that since the past. Yes, Lord. <laughs> but, but like I told you guys this morning, it seemed like a day after that. He led me to a group of Marines that were having Bible study over in the desert of Kuwait, doing the war, while the, the bombs and the, the rifles, all that stuff's going on. He led me to it. So today is your day. He sent me to tell you, today is your day. Make room for him today. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. This is, I'm, I'm going to repeat myself. This is the best time, amen, while your hearts are open to the things of God. Your hearts are open now to the things of God. Don't let this day pass, amen. Don't let this great day of celebration pass, amen. Without you once again, make it, what, what, what it said, Joshua said, choose you this day who you're going to serve. It's going to be a choice every day for you to make room for him, amen. It's going to be a choice each and every day for you to make room for him, amen. Yeah, don't, and, and just don't, like I said again, just don't do it on this day and then tomorrow you go back to shutting them out again. You know, you go back to say, my life is too crowded. I ain't got time. I just ain't got the space. I ain't got the space to let them in. I ain't got the space to let them in to my end. I ain't got the space to let them in to my end. Once again, I mean, enjoy, enjoy the season. Enjoy your time on this morning. But I'm telling you, it, it wasn't by coincidence. However, you got to watch this message on this morning, amen. He's asking you a question this morning while you are celebrating. Hmm. Will you make room? Amen. Let's just give my hand clap of praise, amen. That's going to be my message for the day, amen. Will you make room, amen. Will you make room on this day? And once again, this is Chain Breakers Ministry, amen. And we. Thank everyone who viewed this morning, amen, on the behalf of this ministry. We, you know, we want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's. And like I say, if I didn't do anything, you go out here saying, this year, don't wait till next year, this year, I will make room. I will start today making room for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Once again, this is Chain Breakers Ministry. We're located here. Located here. In uh, Hampton, Georgia, in Dover, Georgia, you know, and so you don't have a church home. The first thing you will have to do after you say it, you make room in your heart, find a Bible-based church where they're teaching and preaching. I, I, I call it the unadulterated word of God, amen, where you can understand. Let the Lord lead you to a man of God where, where he can teach you and break down the word of God. Once again, we thank you and we praise you for joining the Chain Breakers ministry. You'll be blessed. Glory to God. Let's give my hand clap of praise. Amen. 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 Amen.